All right, what's going on, y'all? Got another video out for you guys today. Today we're going out of Yanketown again. Um, gonna be trying a little bit different area than we did last time to see if we can get some more snook. So water has cooled down quite a bit. The fish are definitely back in the creeks. Today's a warmer day after a cold front. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do and hope you guys enjoy the video. Yep. A little red. Well, it's about freaking time. A little pip squeak. It's a fish. Yeah, today we will take whatever we can get. Yeah, he's bigger than I think he is. Yeah, he's not that big. Please. Did you pin us down? Nobody can. Was he right up near that grass or was he off a little bit? No, he was right a bit on it. They're not that big. Good fish, dude. Not a bad fish. <laughs> You're like, he's small. I didn't, th I didn't think he was that big. <laughs> he's big. <laughs> All right, I'll let you deal with him. Keep him in the water. I gotta get my rod. I got it wrapped up all around crap. You got it? Okay. I don't know what is going on here. Yeah, go ahead and stand up there. Gosh. Eight pounds? It's a ten pound fish. Is it really? Yes. Good God. All right, get up there with the. I'll get you a good picture, Will. Turn, turn more that way. Oh, yes, sir. Can you pull my mask down, please? Yeah. Good. Nice fish. Yep. It's a good fish. Definitely bigger than mine, I'm sure.
down. Yeah, I got you. I'm down. We're down. Yeah. Fish. Put yours in the same net. <laughs> you sure? We should take a double up picture though. Well, sure. That's one of the reasons why I brought that bracket. Oh, we can do our phones. It'll probably be easier. This is a solid fish. This will be a good tournament fish too. See you later, buddy. He's probably good. What, 25? Not bad at all. Yeah, that's a good solid fish. Good, what, 25? Yeah. He's probably pissed. <laughs> See, I've been fishing this stuff for freaking 20 minutes. They come around the corner and double off. Sweet, well, that was cool. Choked it. Right, that's a nice little fish there, not bad. Yeah, not bad, fish. Not bad at all. 16, 17. Oh, he's about 18. For sure. You want to bet? Yeah. Alright. Um you got cash on you? You pay for the uh car wash. Boat wash. I'll pay for it. He's 19 and a half. No way. Yep. That piece is not 19 and a half. He's 19 and a half. 100%. Yep. Sure do. You can see it on the GoPro later. Oh. I got video proof. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It may not necessarily be admissible in court of law, though. I don't have any chin locks, quarter ounce. Well, you should. Not chin locks, snake locks. I definitely don't have any snake locks. You should. I don't. Well, get some. Just means you're right around the corner. Order some from Discount Tackle. Yep. There we go. Come back here to fly? Yeah. What is it? It's a redfish.
Well, you just hooked yourself again by doing that. All right, another little redfish. Not too bad at all. There he is. Really? He's gonna give up, give up on it like that? Quitter. He came out from the bar and he popped the top water, then he left it. Let's see if we'll go for it again. There he is. Come on. Eat it. All right, if you ain't gonna commit to that top water, I'm just gonna throw the pound tail back in there and I'm gonna get you. There you go. That one. Saw a fish there, eh? That's a solid fish there, eh? Yeah, he's not bad. If he's 22 and a half, we are backing up and going home. I'm going to go buy a lot of tickets. He wouldn't be too far off, not going to lie. <laughs> he might just be, dude. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right. Went to the eye. Thanks for crap on my boot. Oh, he's twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close. You want a picture with him or not? He was right up in that grass. Well, as you guys heard in the intro, I was going to try a totally different area than we did last time um, to see if we can get some more snook rather than just straight redfish. And unfortunately, that area was a complete and total bust. Um, I've been to that area before and had a lot of success with snook, specifically in that area. Um, but it was back in springtime, and it was the time where the fish were coming out of their wintertime patterns rather than going into them like they are now. Um, I thought because the water temp was about the same as it was last year that the fish would definitely be in there and be stacked up in this creek. Unfortunately, they were not at all. We did not get any bites at all. Did not We saw some bait, but not really a whole lot especially as much as we did you know the last trip that we did the last video that you guys saw so gave it a shot didn't catch anything so we went ahead and made the switch went to an area where i know there's some redfish there always are this time of the year and we got on them pretty much right away um, we caught a lot of our fish along shorelines that had rock and grass both rocks hold heat very very well this time of the year so i would definitely recommend trying to focus on rocks and oyster bars and even muddy bottom stuff like that that holds heat really well because those fish are going to want to be pushed up there where the water temp's a little bit warmer especially when the sun comes up and it's sunny outside it warms up really well there um, we caught all of our fish on the three inch bait from z-man three inch minnows this is a white with red tail color it works really really well i've been using it a lot more recently it's kind of an old school color that you guys have seen um, but i've been using it a lot lately and i'm really impressed with it and this is on the texas side jig head as usual this bait works really really well when you're working around structure um, around oyster bars rocks grass stuff like that it doesn't really get hung up a whole lot absolutely love that jig head and then also through the three inch mud minnows color from z-man this one works really well as well when they're pushed back into the creeks because of the fact that it looks just like a mud minnow so it's very natural um, very great color for this time of the year honestly guys i think that Right now, a lot of it's not gonna be color-based, it's mostly tempo. So you don't wanna work the baits too fast. You wanna work them fairly slow, close to the bottom. The fish aren't really aggressive right now, so they're not chasing down baits and hitting them hard. 
I would definitely focus on slowing down your retrieve a little bit, maybe even bouncing along the bottom, just a slow roll kind of reeling along the bottom gets the bite usually. But I appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you could, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Um, if you guys want to see the video where I did fish that new area back in the springtime, I will go ahead and put it right up here for you guys to check out. Like I said, I appreciate you guys watching it. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.